greetings and peace be with you. And may the bluebird of happiness bless your broccoli. And uh, greetings to you, sir, or madam, as the case may be. Tell me, has thee ever seen me before? No, no, I haven't. But then I, I never watch Let's Make a Deal. Mm. <laughs> me, I mean, look, yes, I would like to look at it because I'm very interested in what you are serving to your customers. Salty pork sausages, cold mashed potatoes, succulent sweetened canned fruit, hydrogenated butter. What do you call that? It's goulash. It's our biggest seller. Mm. <laughs> this is the nature of my protest. You must stop serving meat. Do you realize in 500 years there will be no cows, pigs, or sheep left whatsoever? So on that day, we'll change the menu. <laughs> Why do you not take the word of a nutritionist? You don't really need meat. Look at Adam and Eve. What did they eat? Not what, when, huh? I've always wondered about Adam and Eve. Where did they tuck their napkins? Do you realize that? The figs are the true fruit of passion. That's right. Adam and Eve, they even wore fig leaves. Sure, but then Eve had had an apple to the figs. And then they both got thrown out of the garden for making the first Waldorf salad. Yes, to consider on a simple diet of fruit. One man begat the whole world. Listen, Adam wouldn't have done all that begatting if Eve wasn't ready to be gotten. Might have a point. If he has, it's on his head. No, I always heard that food is very good for the complexion. It doesn't make the skin wrinkle. So how come it's, it, it doesn't work for prunes? <laughs> Look, nature boy, take your protest business down the street to my competitor and tell him to put the aggravation on my tab. May a pair of love bugs play post office in your pot roast, sir. Oh, may a can can in your cauliflower. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot leave this unfortunate eating house. Why not? Because I am chained, and I'm going to chain myself to it. What chain? This chain here. This, this one here. I'm going to put this around here so that I am going to be chained to your eating house forever. Now then, what about that? What do you think about that? Now, wait one second. These chains are specially made not to go around stools of eating houses. <laughs> What's going on here? Dean, look! The end is near. Oh, you've eaten here before. Dean, this man is a crazy person. Yeah. My friend, my friend, you seem to be an intelligent fellow. See, I told you he was a crazy person. <laughs> my dear sir, tell me, do you think that animals should be served here? Yeah, they've got to take their chances like the rest of us. <laughs> But they're all part of a great family of life. You see, I consider myself to be the brother of the oxen. You look more like a monkey's uncle. Yes, <laughs> more like a horse's aunt. Hey, Gus, I'm in a hurry now. Can I get a hamburger? Wait, you want to eat it here or take it out, huh? Uh, both. Oh. I see that you are ready to reconsider. Why are you ordering a hamburger? Well, these days, who can afford a down payment on a steak? My grandfather never ate anything but meat in his life. And next month, he's going to be 112. And that is the kind that go just like that. <laughs> all right, all right. Cancel the hamburger and make that a fruit salad. Good, good. And remember, remember this, sir. You are what you eat. Cancel the fruit salad, make it a lettuce and tomato sandwich. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Do you realize, sir, do you realize that lettuce is one of the most powerful aphrodisiacs in the whole world? It is? Yes. Did you ever see a lonely rabbit, sir? Oh! <laughs> All the tomatoes and double the lettuce. Young man, I can see that you know a lot about food. Sure, I used to work in a candy factory as a mechanic. You're a mechanic in a candy factory? Yeah, I used to tighten the nuts on the Hershey bars. <laughs> Purity is the key of life. Now then, take water. Water? Oh, sure, that's that stuff that rusts pipes. Huh? <laughs> I prefer to drink my scotch unpolluted. 
Look, sir, have you ever considered trying goat's milk? Yeah, but it comes in such ugly containers. <laughs> I know the that the benefits of yoga in asanas are fasting, yogi, I know when, when I am here in this position. Look, I'm here. trying to run a restaurant. What do you want from me? Unsweetened butter and uh, curry with my dressing and um, unsaturated polyrose tingle pops. Oh, why didn't you say so? One number four coming up. Yeah. <laughs>